Hi everybody, welcome to my studio. This is Pam Coey and here's another video, part one. I'm gonna be working large scale on Arches oil paper. Here I am just uh, measuring it and using some tape to attach to the wall. I usually measure it to uh, figure out what size I want and I'm actually gonna cut this down the middle and then tape it to the wall because after the painting's done, I may want to mount onto two 48 by 48 inch panels. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm taping everything onto the wall. And please like the video if you are liking this type of video content. Um, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss part two. Okay, so now I'm putting on those dry marks, which I love to start with. I consider this to be my play stage. It just is a way for me to become loose and free, engaged with the surface and the size of the paper. I'm using everything from Winsor Newton oil bars to Art Graph, which are water soluble, Stabilo 8046 to get my really nice dark marks and even Marabou crayons. And uh, just so you know, everything you see me using really is pretty much on my resources page at artandsuccess.com. I like to uh, have an easy way to find things for myself, so I link everything to my favorite products right there. Here's a close-up. So how do you pick your colors? Sometimes people ask me that. And, you know, in this painting, I decided to use a pretty limited palette. And the reason for that is that it just gives me so much freedom uh, throughout the, you know, every stage of the painting. Uh, once you limit your colors, you don't have to worry about harmony. And uh, it just, it's one less thing you have to think about. So the main thing is uh, I like to choose a warm and a cool or a couple warms and a cool or vice versa, a couple cools and a warm. And um, here I'm using Gamblin Payne's Gray, which is kind of a cool. Gamblin's Asphaltum, which is a warm. Uh, Graham's Transparent Orange Iron Oxide, that's a warm color. Chromatic Black and Gamblin Quick Dry White. And I like to mix with my Cold Wax Medium. And um, so it's roughly a complimentary palette. And please check out my online painting course. It's now open for enrollment. And the course focuses on, you know, basically filling your artistic toolbox with everything you need to know so that you can paint your best art. Um, here I am just, you know, I like to have a swatch uh, whenever I mix my paint so that if I come back to a painting after several days or, you know, after the painting is dry, I can remember what colors I used. And here I've mixed, you know, tints, tones, and shades. Um, tints come when you mix with white. Tones come when you mix with grays. And shades come when you mix with the blacks. And I like to get an idea for all that this limited palette can do. And this is just a simple swatch, but as you can see, there's so much variation within these few colors and it's really fun to mix them and then record what they look like on, on scraps of paper. You know, these scraps are Arches oil paper. And here's a close-up of that palette. I get a lot of people asking me about, you know, how do you make drippy paint? Because it's fun to paint with brushes, with the cold wax medium and oil. So here I am mixing a 50-50 uh, solution of Galkid to Gamzol. And here I'm using really long handled brushes. You can't really see it from the angle that you're looking at the video, but uh, these are really fabulous and they're, um, they're called Jewel Plain Air Bristle Brushes. And I believe this is like a number six bright. And again, I list this on my resource page because it's kind of hard to find. I just recently ordered some and, uh, you know, they're easy to travel with. Uh, they're really lightweight and they're super long handles so you can be really free. Um, now you're just seeing, you know, basically my process of play. I've got the drippy paint going and I kind of just uh, go back and forth between the warm colors and the cool, uh, thick and thin the drippy paint versus, you know, stiffer paint. Um, love to make marks. This video is sped up about a thousand percent. Uh, again, I wish I could work this fast, but in the real world, that really isn't the case. This has really been edited way, way down. 
and this is really just the beginning stage so just play it's going to be developed in future videos so again please subscribe and then you won't miss part two and who knows maybe there's going to be a part three i never know still love to use my hands just make sure you have gloves on That's my green Messer Meister tool. It's a silicone tool, great flat edge. And these are the really uh, big RF pigment sticks. Um, just love to use them for mark making. And you know, usually I bring them in more toward the end of a painting, but sometimes, you know, I'll, especially on a work on paper uh, that's meant to be kind of more loose, uh, there's you know, they do take a little bit longer to dry, but I just love using them. A lot of people ask me, you know, where I get my energy from, and uh, so our sons, Kaylin and Evan, are um, entrepreneurs, and you know, I consider them to be extremely creative. And they um, they came up with a, an amazing product. It's an energy product, and it's all natural and you know, actually really good for you. So um, I use that product to give me lots of energy. Um, so you can see, being an artist and as you know, being in your studio, it does take a lot of energy and it takes a lot of ability to focus on many different things. And uh, literally this product, um, there is a story behind it um, and it really helped me to get through grad school. And uh, so I wanted to just uh, thank my boys, Kaylin and Evan, for creating VocTab. And I'll have a link to it so you can actually Check it out for yourselves because you might enjoy having that in your studio as well. just a few close-ups so you can really see uh, what the marks look like. That's the RNF pigment stick. Here's where I took my gloved hand and just sort of, um, you know, move that pigment stick downward and uh, more, more um, blending with my hand. Drips. Pretty thin paint, lots of white paper still showing. That transparent uh, earth orange it's still so beautiful and uh, I lined up some pencils and you know put them down that's how I got those multiple marks that's the Payne's gray which is so lovely So thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate you watching this video. And again, please hit like if you enjoyed this content. And I hope that you'll subscribe so you don't miss part two. See you next time.